I believe the game is more mental than physical. Uh, you can have all the skill, you can shoot, you can dribble, but if you don't believe in yourself, you can really uh, stunt your success. How do you train your mind? Um, I train my mind by reading a lot of books. My dad, you know, always made us read books to like work on our mindset, whether it was basketball or through life, um, just to know that that's important. And that really helps. It helps on the court and off the court. What have you learned from your parents who are both athletes about the importance of training your mind? They just showed me that, you know, if you work hard and believe, your, uh, believe in yourself, you can, you know, accomplish anything. They both came from the Caribbean to America to find a better life for their family. And, you know, through hard work, being away from home for years, um, they were able to do that. And just watching them, you know, give me and my siblings the life you've always wanted is just inspiring. And that just makes me play even harder. Does playing overseas require a different mental approach to the game? It was kind of tough. That was my first time actually being away from home. Um, I went to school in Maryland. I'm from Maryland. So I never really left until going overseas. And it was tough. But I realized that I was doing what I love to do. I was getting to travel, and so I was seeing the bright side of things and just use that time to get better and prepare me for the WNBA season. What were some of the challenges you faced during the rookie season? Um, for one, we were in the bubble. So, you know, being, I don't wanna say stuck, but being in the bubble and not seeing your family, you know, or having that crowd to motivate you, give you that extra hype was tough. But then also, because we're in the bubble, our season was shortened. So everything was faster. We had a shorter training camp. We were playing every other day. And it was a little tough at first, but you know, I just knew I could do it. I watched film. I did, it, I did what I needed to do, whether it was mentally or physically. And I got through it. So now I know what to expect, and I'm excited for my second year. What was your mindset going into your first playoff game? I was excited you know, to be one of the few teams to make the playoffs. I was you know, ramped up and hungry. And so I just wanted to go out and do whatever the team needed me to do. And as the game started to unfold, I just got more comfortable and I just noticed like, I belong here. So I just started playing my game and just having fun with it. How important is training your mind compared to your physical training? I believe the game is more mental than physical. Uh, you can have all the skill, you can shoot, you can dribble, but if you don't believe in yourself or if you always um, are negative, you know, when you miss a shot, you put your head down and you don't, you know, think about the next play and keep moving, you can really uh, stunt your success. You know, once you get frustrated, it's hard to play. It's hard to focus on what you need to do because you're so worried about the past. And so it's important, you know, to have that strong mentality, um, sometimes more than the physical.